So there was a game that came across my Steam recommended called Pox Day. They have an alpha that's coming uh, before too long. Now I'm going to go ahead and get into this announcement. So they get into it talking about the Heartlings, right? That's where you start off. It's basically the new player safe zone. As a new player, you start in what we're calling the Heartlands. These are like the peaceful areas that are guaranteed to like not be very dangerous. The PvE enemies aren't going to be that tough and there's no PvP. They also show some crafting, kind of. And they show that someone is crafting, but you don't actually see the UI for it. That definitely feels kind of odd, right? So we have uh, modularity built in and how we do the visuals of it. We also then give the players and the crafting a lot of flexibility and customizability. So it's possible that you're going for a more mortal online style of crafting. So you get a small view of the archery, but not too much. Doesn't seem anything out of the ordinary. Seems like just aim and shoot. Well, this person talks about how the extent of knowledge is not known. The extent of knowledge is not known. And this basically plays onto our uh, built-in instincts as humans. Which can only possibly be true for like maybe the first year. Because by then the wiki for pretty much everything out there is going to be completed. And so I really hope they're being careful with this. Because if you're not careful and you put all your eggs into the basket of, oh well, you can go exploring when everything's already been explored. A lot of people are just gonna either stop playing or not play in the first place. They also say that they're focusing very heavily on the PC platform, but they are also working to get it on other consoles as well. They say that the ultimate idea is for the game to be playable on any device for when you're at work or when you're in the car. The, the ultimate idea is that we want the game to be playable from any device, you know, maybe at work or, you know, or, or, or in the car. Guys, um, don't game and drive. <laughs> right? Now, he probably meant something more along the lines of, you know, you're in the passenger seat, you're parked somewhere, but like most of the time people are in the car, they're actively going somewhere. Please do not game and drive. I'm just sitting here imagining someone with like their phone their arms are just kind of resting on the steering wheel and then oh that was a person whoops sorry <laughs> i have never owned a gaming pc so that's odd to hear someone who's actively making games and has never owned a gaming pc now to be fair um you know th there's a lot of different parts of business it's very possible that this person could be like lead sales or lead marketing and i have always admired the beautiful world that Oh, yeah, that's bad. To be fair, uh, a lot of the designers that we're talking were founders, so it's possible that she just runs the business, but still, if she is just running the business, they should put head of business or something. That said, you know, maybe she just meant she didn't ever have a strong PC. Like, there's a million possibilities, and uh, some of them are bad. Some of them are questionable, not gonna lie. Uh, but some of them are completely understandable as well. So if you like games that look similar, but like never experienced that in the context of MMOs, I'm, I'm hoping that this game is going to be the one for you. What? Looks similar to what? If you like games that look similar, but never experienced that in the context of MMOs, I'm hoping that this is going to be the game uh, for, for you to get, to get you into MMOs. I, I feel like in this part of the interview, they cut off some crucial context because I don't know what he's talking about. Maybe he listed off some games and was like, oh crap, we probably shouldn't say those. Okay, that's cool. So we have like an inspect system where you're actually like zooming in. There's the combat. It's there for like two seconds. That's it. So experienced players can support new players and, and new players can just get new gear and join their friends in an adventure. Overall, you know, I, I like the idea of cooperation, but that is one that people have to be careful with because very often what kills an MMO is that they just try to rush all the new players to where the old players are, which means that they no longer get that um, experience and that adventure that the old players had, so they really have no reason to keep playing, right? Uh, Josh Stripe Hayes has done a lot of videos on this same topic. How to fix this is really just to make a game worth replaying. Right. If someone loved their adventure, 
uh, then they would be more likely to go back when a friend joins and say, hey, let me create a new character with you. Everyone finds a role to play because everyone in the world of Pax Day matters. Another founder, this one is CEO, which doesn't help me. Although he does look like my dad, so I'm going to give him a pass. It left a lot of questions. What's the monetization like? Are there microtransactions? Yes, absolutely there are microtransactions. It wasn't in any of the announcements or posts that they had made, but it was in their terms of service under Section 10 Purchases. Within the service, you may purchase virtual items by virtual currency or by real money. So yes, and that alone is fine, right? It really just depends on what kind of microtransactions, you know, just cosmetic. Are they going to be like, okay, well, the skill takes a million years to level, but you can pay us five bucks. It'll only take one year to level. Uh, but this also gives us a hint as to what kind of monetization they're going to have. That if they front load their microtransactions, that that's absolutely how they have to make their money. Which means that it's probably going to be free to play if that's the case. But if they wait and hold off to add these, then it's probably going to be a buy one model. Yeah, that was about all I had to show. Overall, I think it looks good. I'm looking forward to it. Let me know what you guys think. And I will see you uh, before too long.